Uh, right, I'm in Sheffield uh, with Steve Moore, ready for Big Society um, in the North, which will be uh, a terrific meeting of 100-plus uh, people to talk about the realities of, of Big Society. And Steve, you're here to uh, explain a bit about the thinking behind the Big Society Network. Can you give us a preview? Yeah, um, there's been lots of curiosity about the role of the Big Society Network, particularly since we formally launched at 10 Downing Street two weeks ago, and it's, it's an opportunity to come up tonight to share some of the sort of early ideas and some of our early ambitions for the network and to get some feedback. So tonight as ever is a chance to set out, I think, how, where we've come to so far, where we plan to move in the, over the course of the next few months and to get uh, feedback from people who have been very keen to engage, particularly people who've been engaging online around the discussion around the big society. So it's an opportunity to do that and the first opportunity to do it here in the north of England. And uh, I think that um, people were a bit uncertain for the first month or so about big society, who controls this, where's the agenda coming from and so on. Um, and the guys up here just said, just do it. But I think that's very welcome, isn't it? That's exactly the kind of maxim that's driving the Big Society so far. It's about just doing it. It's a government at the moment that's just doing stuff. And I think that we, as, I mean, this is a classic product of, of the conversations we've had up to now. This is follow this this event, I think, emerged after we had a similar event in London a month ago. And people in the North couldn't get there, wanted to create, create their own event. And we wanted to be really keen to support that. Some of the ideas that emerged in London a month ago we're now supporting, as you know, things like the Big Society App Store and so on, we are beginning to get our support and so on. And we, again, tonight our expectation is some ideas might emerge that we can continue to support. And I think the process of engaging and listening uh, over the course of the next few months will hopefully give us an opportunity to create new ideas that we can support and, and uh, ideas that are, I think, supportive of our general kind of philosophy. I think what people are grappling with is how do you... Uh, one tap into all the great stuff that's been happening over the last few decades and how do we make sure the lessons um, from locality, the very diverse rural and urban yeah. communities connect with the uh, bigger ideas that are being generated around big society? Well I think the thing, I think that the um, our, we are ardently in favour of kind of supporting which is what exactly works, what works already and providing inter and intervening only when we can actually add value to that process so a lot of what we're doing at the moment, as well as having these kind of meetings, is meeting with big brands, working with network technologies, working with mobile operators, talking to um, uh, media companies and so on, looking at ways in which we can begin to amplify and support some of these local activities. But I think that what's really important to get across is there's no white hall blueprint for the big society. It's not there now, it's not likely to emerge in due course. What you will see over the course of the the next few months and years is a series of small scale interventions where people can, which will support what's already happening in local areas. And I think somebody blogged or tweeted recently, why isn't there something happening in the North East or why isn't there something happening elsewhere? I the guess the message there. is there, um, yeah. hey if you want to organise some people come along. Look I think we'll organise some things and between, in between September and Christmas we will organise some events. We're already talking to local authorities across the country but hosting a series of events maybe as many as 12 across the, whole, across the whole of the UK, but that's not to stop anyone coming forward with opportunities to, for us to come and join the conversation. Tomorrow we're doing a similar thing with Unlimited in London, where we've been invited to come and present and, and debate some of the issues, and again, we're very happy to do that. Right. Thank you.